So <laughs> I'm gonna go with uh with Prime scares me the least. Yes. Now uh his Dang. <laughs> his off season edition of Metcalf uh makes me think I may have to readjust how I play against him. But at the same time, there's only one ball, so I'm not too worried about uh him adding another receiver. I've just added another corner too. So I feel like I still match up pretty well against him. So if I had to pick a team that I'm least scared of, it would be the Colts. I must answer this question weekly, it feels like at this point. First time I answered it was on a Field General podcast, start of the cycle. I've, I've been on this trend before Polly was on this trend. This is how many primes you end up with right here. <coughs> Zero. This is not the, the best player in his, in his division is the host of the show. I don't know how you can expect to be the second best player in your division, not even looking at the conference as a whole, and expect to win some parties. Prime, you're getting older. It's not Madden 20. It's not Madden 19. It's not Madden 18. Even with DK Metcalf, you don't have it in you. If you can't beat a newcomer who's the Washington football team, I, I just I don't see how you expect to win a Simbardi, especially when your father is in the division in Mad Bomber. Uh, unfortunately, now, though, what Prime's problem is, he's bringing in too much talent. And so he's got too much talent coming. I, I, I see about maybe four or five different winners this cycle, new guys that are coming. They're going to be beating Prime up. They, you know, he's already struggling in his own division. Okay. <laughs> Bombers kind of dominated him already. I Usually in that play, I end up sending him the corner and get burnt. Chris Taylor stumbles and then he did. Never mind, just like that. I joke when I said that. Chumps are gonna bow when I whoop him. All of you, I know you got him. I know you got him picked, but the man's in trouble. I'm gonna show you how great I am.